Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Addie and welcome to Growing With The Greens. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I am doing in preparation for my upcoming vision board party. So for those of you that know, I have a vision board party coming up and it is finally here. It is this week. This is my favorite time of year. This is my fifth vision board party that I've put together for um, a small group of my friends. And so. Um, it's my holiday party, so to speak. It gives me an excuse to have a party, but it also gives me a really good reason to have a party. Usually leading up to the vision board party in preparation for that week, I basically have to sit down and go through and put my own stuff together. Because I'm usually hosting the vision board party, I don't always have a crap ton of time to really get done with everything that I have to do for my own personal vision board because a lot of times I'm up helping other people and doing other stuff. So I like to spend the week before my vision board party basically getting myself into the zone. I kind of talked to you guys about how I started my bullet journal and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about that thing. Like it's been going really, really good so far. I did some more pages in it last night. So I'm super stoked about that particular part of this process. The next thing that I like to do in preparation is basically go back through and look at some of my old vision boards, see where I've come from, see where I'm headed, and basically start really thinking about what I want for the upcoming year. Alrighty guys, so this is my first vision board that I did, um, and as you can see, this was done in... December 2012 be pure be love be yourself pure love love yourself um, and then I had remove the stigma um, I wanted a camera which is really funny because I think that's the exact camera that like I'm vlogging with right now this was a picture of me like way back in the day when I was like uh, super thin when I got out of the army this was a ticket because I wanted to uh, go travel and I went to Chicago that year so I put that in there because I thought that was really cool um, my bags change of place this year it says we're on a manhunt I was very single in 2012 and I was looking for a keeper um, I have an engagement ring right there <laughs> um, and I was awaiting the royal wedding and a dress like the dress of my dreams and then I wanted to be doing some fine dining you guys different restaurants getting out so as you can see there really was no like overall theme of this board though this board was pretty much just all over the place again but with all the things that inspired me and it probably looks like a visual collection of junk to some people but this was like the most amazing thing for me um, after I did then we move on to my 2013 boards I can coach I was doing my sensuality coaching I wanted to be making six figures I wanted to be a big impact for women um, and I was gonna love the road to success count down to a better you I really actually loved this silhouette right here so that's why I put it on there all these words that basically just like jumped out and I was doing some rebranding with my business and we were trying to come up with a new name um, the Oval Office I had I wanted to get organized in my office I w actually wanted an office of a bestseller one of these days I would love to write a book um, hello, my name is, I'm a sensuality coach, a somatic movement coach, owner, author, and speaker. And those are all the things that I wanted for my life. I really loved this picture of this girl basically sitting in a meditation pose. Um, this was just such a beautiful representation of this whole board for me. And it's nice to finally see love. I wanted to get engaged yet again. As you can see here, this was still a theme on this board. A man proposes to the love of his life. Me married. So as you can see, this board was themed a little bit differently. I've got sort of um, work-related stuff took up this side. Sort of my kind of life took up right here. My personal and maybe spiritual life. And then in this corner here was kind of related to travel and love. Then this was my 2014 as engaged future Mrs. Green. And at this point I think I had just gotten engaged. 
So then I started cutting out stuff about weddings and all the different stuff that I wanted for my wedding. Operation Find the Dream Dress. Um, I wanted to work on our home and do body, mind, and spirit work. I thought that this was really important to make sure that I was working um, balanced and on mind, body, and spirit. I really loved this girl right here with her natural. Like, she was absolutely amazing, and I put the best of your life 30s. Um, I turned 30 in 2014. And then down here, um, I just wanted to make sure that I was regularly practicing my yoga. Um, I still have some travel over here, but as you can see, like my little travel section has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. What I realized about this board was the central focus was on mind, body, and spirit work and just being healthy. And the biggest part of the focus or the most focused energy right here was basically on my um, wedding stuff. You guys, what's super freaking crazy about my wedding is that, honestly, I'm not even going to lie, I didn't look at that vision board like every single day like you should. But after the wedding was over, when I went back to look at the colors that I chose, all the way down to the centerpieces that I had at my wedding, literally were almost a replica of what is on the table in my vision board. I think it's absolutely like the most craziest thing ever. For my 2015 vision board, it got a little bit smaller. I decided to put it in a frame this time. And in here, I just had a bunch of stuff. And what's really cool about this one is that I wanted the focus to really be on my home and my family and my yard. So I have show your nest a little love, get a great lawn and a new backyard to go with it. Um, focus on my family. I wanted to get girl time back with some of my home girls. Um, networker, it's time for some serious money. Again, I still have get organized on there. Um, good vibes, heaven on earth making healthier choices, be yourself. Now what I think is cool about my 2015 vision board is that for starters, I put this camera on here. And I'm not really sure why I put this camera on here. I just did. For some reason, this camera caught my eye when I was looking for, um, when I was looking through the magazines for things to cut out. And it's right here next to the word connect and give back and then I have this camera. And I mean, this may sound kind of cheesy, you guys, but I feel like that is exactly what I am doing making YouTube videos for you guys, is basically giving back and I'm connecting. So that's really cool. I'm pretty sure I have this exact same phone in my possession right now. So every year I've pretty much done a collage of stuff. I've flipped through the pages of magazines and anything that sort of jumps off the page at me or that grabs my attention or that basically speaks to my soul, you guys. I cut it out and I formulate a way to put it all onto a board. And usually when I'm done, I'm super excited. I have my masterpiece and I put it up somewhere where I can see it every day. That is the key to a vision board is being able to see the board every single day. What I have found in five years of hosting vision board parties for not just my friends, but for other people, is that if you don't put the vision board where you're going to be able to see it, it kind of defeats the purpose of wasting your time and putting together a vision board. This year, I basically decided to change things up a little bit and do things just a little bit differently because I've been into decorating my house and fixing things up and home decor and all of that stuff. And the honest truth is, I've used these really huge vision boards and I don't end up putting them anywhere. They basically used to be inside of my workspace, but because I've changed so many things in my house this year, I really don't have a space to put something that kind of just doesn't fit in with my decor. And I'm probably starting to think that some of the people that have come to my vision board parties over the years might have the same problem. So the vision board kind of just gets tucked somewhere where you only see it sometimes. And you guys only seeing the vision board sometimes doesn't work. So the biggest thing with a vision board is basically putting it where you can see it so that you can focus. This year, I decided that instead of making a big, huge collage of everything, I decided to make things in a little bit more of a way that they can fit in with my decor, a little bit more modern and a little bit more of 
me a little bit more inspiring a little bit more of something that I'm gonna want to look at every day because it makes me proud and I decided to put my vision board this year in places that I know I'm going to basically look at them all the time so the first place that I decided to put a visual representation of what I want in my life is on my notebook My notebook right here I just have some things and these are more or less just visual representations when I look at these pictures they spark something in me they um, speak to me and they say something to me and they just allow me to um, you know feel like I know exactly what I'm going after what it is that I want and what I'm looking for and I love how you know this one is done in the black and white I love how everything is just square and you know, to me, it just looks a little bit better than, you know, what maybe could look like a mess all over the place. But this I have looked at every single day. It's right here in front of me. And it's right on a notebook. The second board that I decided to do this time was basically a travel board. Basically, for my travel 2017, I chose places that, number one, I want to go, places that I would like to go and take the family, as well as places that I would like to go with just me and my husband. And I think that they're all very attainable places that we can did was I went to one of my favorite sites which is We Heart It and I sort of took the different things that spoke to me and I also searched for the places that I knew that I wanted to go and I found pictures of those places too. The ones that spoke to me though and that's the thing about your vision board you guys is that everything that you're putting on this board it needs to speak to you in a positive way. It needs to do something to you. It needs to activate some sort of happiness or make you excited or you know make you feel really good. The next thing that I did was make little simple like Polaroid pictures. Right now I basically just have these sitting in the mirror in my room and that way when I get up whenever I sit down at my desk and I look up I see the things that um, you know I want to attract into my life. So I encourage you guys to definitely get ready to get your vision board set up for the upcoming year. And honestly, if you cannot get the supplies, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You guys, you can use what you already have around the house. You can use your phone. You can use magazines. If you've got magazines laying around under your coffee table collecting dust or whatever, but I definitely encourage everybody, everybody, everybody to um, join me in creating a vision board and um, I'm gonna walk you guys through the process so if you do want to make a vision board and you are interested in doing that definitely come back for the rest of this week because we're gonna be working on our visions and our dreams and our goals in my next couple of videos but also to leave me a comment down below and just let me know like give me a hand raise or just shout it out that you're in that you're gonna be doing a vision board also and I would absolutely love to see pictures of you guys vision boards um, once we've done them and put them all together and created them so um, I think I'm gonna create like a little hashtag or something so that you guys can show me I'm so excited to see what some of you guys are going to come up with what your dreams and your visions and your goals are and put those things out there you guys God is listening the universe can hear you put it out there and watch what happens in your life if you follow me on snapchat definitely 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 I will be posting a lot of stuff on snapchat about all of this stuff coming up so if you're not following me on snapchat and you have snapchat get on over there and find me being Addie Green Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for um, coming to hang out with me today. I look forward to us doing some vision boards together. So I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Lately, especially ever since the book and the movie. This <laughs>